Hey everyone, welcome to your weekly messages for June 12th to 18th of 2017. Um, so today, I don't know, we have a three card pick and the weekly cards and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to start with Seeds of Intention today. For today I smile. Okay, so keep your chin up as best you can. The energy might be a little bit intense. Um, I know that, you know, myself, my clients, a lot of the people that I've been working with lately have felt um, some really intense transitions and growth periods. So even though the full moon is over, you still might... Um, feel it regardless. Okay, Paulina Cassidy. Protection. Create sacred space to keep uninvited energy out. Okay, so really take care of yourself, your physical space, all of that stuff. You want to be really mindful about what you are uh, letting in. Okay, and now these are the the new Doreen Virtue Angel of Angels of Abundance cards. So I'm just going to see what's coming through for everyone this week. That one. Abundance mindset. If you think of your abundance as something that happens in the future, then it will always be one day away from you. See, feel, think, and speak of abundance as something you already have in the present moment, and that is what you will experience. The other thing that goes along with this is practicing gratitude. Gratitude automatically puts you in a state of, look at how much I already have. And when you're able to do that, um, you know, it just makes things a lot easier and then your abundance, whoops, only magnifies further. So keep that in mind this week. You know, it's not about when I have this or I, I will have enough money. It's kind of like, okay, you know, whatever, whatever small things you have, I, um, I'm able to pay my bills. I'm able to purchase groceries, whatever that is. Um, just keep it in mind. Okay. Uh, I want to do the three card pick first. So this is, you know, if you want additional insight this week or if you're looking for something um, specific to a relationship or if you have a question, go ahead and think about that now. Go ahead and focus on the card that's calling to you. Ask your question. Okay, card number one. Four of Pentacles. So this is a little bit uh, more reserved than usual. Um, so just keep that in mind that you might be pulling back a little bit from the things that you typically do, being a little bit more conservative with your money, um, so it's just kind of being more reserved all around. Okay, card number two, King of Pentacles. Okay, so this is someone who can actually come in and support you either financially, um, you know, with your organization, with the, uh, the grounded, the tactile things that you have to do in your life. Okay, and card number three, Four of Wands. So it looks like things are coming together um, for you. It looks like a really intense time. So it's uh, things coming together, at, you know, at home, in work, um, school, all of that stuff is just kind of all, um, um, like if you think about it in terms of the harvest, right? So you were planting all your seeds and now you're able to see everything come together and all that stuff. Okay, 
So let's go ahead and get started with the the main reading for this week. And if you want clarifiers on anything, just let me know and um, I can clarify. <clears throat> and I'm, I don't really know. We're just going to see what comes up. This is all fluid. It's going to be different for everyone. So it's not necessarily Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's... Um, it's going to be fluid. Okay, let's see what's coming through first. The tower, big change, transformation, intensity, getting swept off your feet. This isn't necessarily destruction, it's rapid change. So it's, um, I'm just going to clarify this right away to see what exactly it entails. Okay, this one wants to come up the world. So it looks like a new perspective on things. It, like that's the main thing. It's an internal shift to where you're actually um feeling more like your your world is kind of turned upside down because of your own internal perspective. This doesn't look as circumstantial as it might be in other reads, it looks more like this is your internal state. It's just big shifts, big transformations coming through. Okay, the next card we have, judgment. So decision making. There's a lot of um, heavy lifting that you're doing internally, which is the, the key thing here. So just be really gentle with yourself at this time. Don't... Um, Try not to judge yourself based on your feelings and your decision making. Just try to, um, you know, practice open mindedness with yourself. And um, it looks like, you know, with all of this upheaval going on, you might be a little bit hard on yourself. So just just be aware of that and, um, you know, try not to judge yourself too hard. Okay. Seven of Wands, so it looks like you're kind of breaking away from um, the standards of other people. This card is, you know, about um, rising to the top and being, you know, the best version of yourself, but it's kind of like the dark side of this is that you do leave other people in the dust a little bit, um, or you might feel some... Um, persecution pictures pop up and everything like that so just be aware of that that people might um not like the direction that you're going in but you you have these huge transformations coming through so just be mindful that you know it's all a part of the process and so even if people things situations jobs are shifting in and out of your life it's so that you can you know, do things that are in your highest good. Okay, the next card we have Six of Wands. Again, moving away, transformation. This is a reiteration of all these other cards that have been coming through. Decision making, leaving behind the things that no longer serve you. That's the, the big message with these two cards. So it's like you're in this process of rising to the top. Um, and don't, you know... Uh, worry about other people's opinions too much just because this period is so volatile and you're going to see a lot of changes come up. Okay, the next card, Page of Wands. So this is like your desire to have a really good time. Dionysus is the god of wine. Um, and we see in a lot of... Uh, I always think of True Blood when I see this card because they have a season that's based on someone who worships Dionysus, which is synonymous with like the devil, um, overindulgence, um, having a good time, you know, that whole, that whole thing. So it's kind of like you want the, this transformation to be over so that you can get here and just kind of have more of a relaxed, a good time. Um, so this looks like a desire coming through rather than circumstances because this is an internal shift that may have external um, uh, consequences, so to speak. 
Ace of Pentacles. So it looks like you're going to have new opportunities coming through, which is um, awesome to see because right now you're cleaning house. When you push things out, it, you know, creates space for more things to enter your life. And so the Ace of Pentacles is indicating that. Um, which is, you know, this is what we want to see. And it looks like this is coming in later on. Um, it may not manifest fully this week. Or you could easily see new opportunities pop up for you. Okay, and finally... Page of Swords, so this is, you know, you wrapping things up with a really clear vision, an idea of where you want to go, who you want to be, um, what you want to call in. It's just clarity around what exactly you are doing. So, hi Cheryl. Um, so, with all of this going on, you have, you know, your life is being purged, right? So some aspects of your life are, are leaving, shifting around, transforming. You have your internal world that is being put into question. And so then you're really ready. You're in this state of, I want these good things to enter my life and I know the vision that I have for myself. Okay, let me see. Oh, what did I say? Okay, so this card, I pulled a clarifier for Dionysus and I got the devil. So it's exactly what I was saying earlier about just really having a desire to have a good time. See how it has like on this card, it's depicted with like money signs and, you know, handcuffs and dice, like gambling and booze and smoking. Um, so it's just kind of, you know, really wanting to... Um, have a a superficially good time it's not necessarily like um, a desire to cultivate healthy relationships which is where we want to be at all times but it's more of the the superficial you know party time um, not necessarily a bad thing it's just you have a lot of hard work going on up here okay and then the other thing I'm going to clarify is judgment. The moon. So it, this, uh, you know, up here we have a lack of clarity, a lack of decision making. It's like you're not fully settled on what you want to do or where you want to go. By the end of the week or by the en once this energy is wrapped up, you're going to have a really clear idea of what you want to do. So just keep that in mind this week that it it looks like there's a lot of intensity coming through. Focus on what you already have and calling in more. And then also make sure that you are keeping your space clean. And that's of people, that's of clutter, that's of, um, you know, the things that don't serve you. Make sure that you're putting yourself in a state where you're receiving the things that you want or you're receptive to them. Okay, if anyone has any questions or wants me to clarify anything in this spread, go ahead and drop a comment and I'll, um, I can clarify it for you. Um, just so you know, if you haven't signed up for my newsletter yet, one's going out tonight and it has the summer solstice reading. So um, keep your eyes peeled for that this evening. Um, and then I am working on July readings right now. So, um, you know, keep your eyes peeled for those coming out at the end of this week as well. Okay, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all next time, and have a great week. Oh, the last card. Okay, yes, I will clarify this. Sorry for the fake out, everyone. Okay. So it's like you're looking for balance. You're looking for a way to... Um, have a really clear idea of work-life balance, of um, what that looks like for you. Because balance doesn't necessarily mean spending 50% of your time in 
work and with family. That's not what balance necessarily means. It's also um, how present are you? Are you present at home? Are you present at work? Or, you know, are you at home but checking emails? That's not being present at home and that doesn't cultivate balance the way you want it to, um, hopefully. So <clears throat> that's really what your your big ideas are going to involve is, um, you know, how much how much time, how much energy is going where. Because your internal world is what's transforming. It's not about the circumstances or what job you have, even though those can be in transition right now. It's about where do you want to spend your time? Who do you want to spend your time with? What does balance look like? How much self-care are you practicing? Um, you know, reevaluating your relationships. Are you giving, giving, giving all the time? Or are you also receiving within those relationships? Those are the big questions that are going to uh, pop up this week. So um, that's why, you know, this is, aha, I finally have an idea of what I want to do. And it revolves around temperance, which is balance and, um, you know, the equilibrium of life. Okay, so if nobody else has anything else that they want clarified, you know, type it now before I close this down. Going once, going twice. Okay, I will see you next time. Have a great week. And if you, you know, think of any questions, then you can post them in the comments below and I'm, I'm happy to just type out an answer for you. Okay, thank you. Bye.